What's up YouTube? This is uh, Mo coming at you with another video and today we're going to do a driving vlog. Uh, so now that the test is finally done, I'm, uh, or, you know, my gondola of exams is complete, I'm back home now. And um, so I wanted to respond to a good request someone asked about like how do you manage your schedule? Um, what do you do? How do you kind of balance your time so you can study a lot and be able to relax and kind of do these things? Um, because I, because when I initially started school, I, I kept my undergrad schedule, and that really didn't work. Um, so I had to switch it up pretty quickly. And uh, so I thought I'd share that with you guys because it worked out pretty well for me. Um, so what I used to do in undergrad was like get up in the morning around seven or eight, and then you know go to lecture, come back around noon or one, and then study. And then if I had lab, I'd be in lab from like one to five, and then from five to like one or two a.m. I'd be studying. And I did this practically every day, and I didn't get a lot of sleep. And, um, and it wasn't, the, it, you know, looking in hindsight, it was not a smart thing to do. The irony is that it worked quite well because there's not a tremendous amount of material in a grad. So you can, you can get away with it because you have time to keep going over the material you can, you know, you can make use. But in medical school, uh, there isn't that luxury of so much time because time is of the essence because of the material is quite large. Um, so the way now that I do it, and I, got, and I spoke to a, um, a learning specialist about, uh, so every medical school has a learning specialist and you know if you want to like step up your efficiency or if you want to do better in some way it's their job to just make sure you do better so it's a really nice thing to have at a school um, so I spoke with my uh, learning specialist and she came up with this really nice schedule for me that I've been sticking with for a couple weeks now and it's worked really really well and uh, so what I do now is I get up around five or six in the morning um, I go you know I get up and then I study in the morning just like by myself you know to study and then go to lecture go to lecture come home and then coming home. Then I do this technique of where I study for one hour straight, no distractions, no getting, you know, just study for an hour, then take a 10 to 15 minute break, then again, study for an hour, again, 10 to 15 minute break, and you keep doing this. When lunchtime comes around, you take a full one hour lunch and you relax. I mean, you don't have to eat for an hour, but you know, you eat and then you spend up to an hour relaxing and just having that time for yourself to relax. And then, you know, then you study, you do the one hour and then 15 minute break, and then comes dinner time. Dinner, take a full hour again, you relax, you break. And then you keep doing this up until around 9.30. At 9.30, what's interesting, what she told me was that um, the brain kind of like shuts off at 9.30. So I guess around 9.30, like your brain, or 9 to 10, I'm just going to just say 9.30. But um, it's like your brain kind of stops like being on and so you, you stop learning so efficiently. So you learn, you know, you, you like study and learn material and digest up until 9.30. And then from 9.30 to 11, you spend your time doing... Um, like memorization things, things that don't require you to learn something de novo. Learning structures, learning pathways, going through your flashcards, learning those histo slides, there's always something to memorize. Um, so that's when during that hour you really leave your rote memorization at that point um, because after 9.30 or 9 or 10, apparently you, you stop learning so well. Um, your body will still feel tired, you'll still feel like you're learning well, but in reality you're only taking in a small amount. So the shift really is quite simple. It's just that you have dedicated breaks that are guilt-free, which is really nice. So you have your hour lunch, you have your hour dinner, you have those 10 to 15 minute breaks between every hour of studying, and they're already in place in your schedule so you don't have to worry about taking a break, and that feels really good. Um, and then, um, a little traffic here, hold on a second. Uh, okay. Um, so that's really nice. And so the only, the only difference is if you really think about the schedule, yeah, you're managing your time differently by taking breaks and kind of organizing it. But also, instead of just staying up later, which apparently your brain's not going to learn so well, you just get up early. So it's just like shifting everything earlier, which is not really much of a big deal. It's quite nice because I've noticed that in the mornings, I actually learn a lot better than I do in the evenings. I get a lot more work done. Um, so that's my schedule. I get up in the mornings. Um, I kind of stopped going to lecture recently because our school is a podcast system. And I'm just one of those people that, you know, yeah, I can learn from lecture, but, you know, lecture is usually an hour per, per professor. But I can, because, you know, they'll take podcast recordings of, you know, really high quality video and audio, the slides and everything. And they'll be uploaded 
that evening. So I just get up in the morning, and I, you know, now that I've changed my schedule a little bit more, I just keep studying um, the material and I try to get ahead or whatever. And then come evening time when the podcasts are loaded, I'll just watch the podcast at home and take notes. And the difference there is that, you know, sure, it'll take an hour to sit there and lecture and you try to take notes and get whatever you can out of it. But, yeah, I'll spend maybe an hour and 15 or hour and a half per one hour lecture going through it, stopping and thinking. And, yeah, it does take more time and some people don't like that. But what I do like about that is even though I took an hour and a half, I got everything out of that lecture. You know, I'm not going home after lecture and going, oh, man, I kind of missed some stuff. Um, so I do like that because I'm not the world's best lecture attender when it comes to trying to take notes. So, um that's my new strategy. Uh, let me know if you guys have any good schedules or let me know what you think. Um, as always, guys, have a great Thanksgiving and as usual, enjoy your studies.